Good morning. It is I, Herbert Space Corn Farmer. Herbert, uh, that's what they call me. I don't believe I've actually harvested space corn yet. But one day, one day I will. Uh, that's in the way. I have my whippet almost ready to whip together. <laughs> Got these. I built this one off stream because uh, I didn't feel like doing exactly the same thing on stream last time. I did forget the little tension adjusters there. Space corn. <laughs> Space corn to you and your house. <laughs> uh, is that a, a staple of the Klingon Empire? Space corn? Makes me want it even more. I, I think the first thing I should... <clears throat> uh, I've been feeling a bit ill. And I will continue to do so, but I feel up to streaming today. I think the first thing I should do is uh, put the track adjusters, tension adjusters on. Otherwise, I will just simply forget. I did manage to do my first 3D prints, one of which is Star Trek related. I made me a Type 6 shuttlecraft. It's pretty good. It's uh, got windows. It's a little bit messy on the bottom where the supports were. But <clears throat> the thing is, it's for my model railway, so I f and I forgot to scale it to the appropriate size. It should be about 40 millimeters long, and it's not. It's about 50. Just the worst. So I'm going to redo it in the proper size. I've got some other cool things to try and print, like a, a Dalek, a Darth Vader, some dudes. I think I have an A-Team van on there. Uh, toilets. Both the uh, indoor kind and an outhouse. Seems you haven't exploded the 3D printer. Not yet. Not yet. I've decided to get some other things to make it a bit easier. To make less mess before I try printing again. Like a... Uh, a big tray to sit all the stuff on. And a funnel for putting the resin back in the bottle. Hey, William Oakley, today is the Meng Whippet. I'm sure the title says that, unless I forgot to change it. Which has never happened before. I didn't change it. What an idiot. I did change it on YouTube. Meng whip it. Whip it good, etc. <laughs> there we go. That should be fixed. I don't know if you'd have to refresh to see it changed or not, but it's changed on my end, probably. I did click save. What does the Twitch backend say? Burger whip it. Make a hamburger. Whip it good. And we just clip these bits of crap off. There we go. Don't remove the guide pin, Herbert. You blithering idiot.
<laughs> Truly the definition of fast food. Well, maybe for the 1900s. Early 1900s. Whippets are slow. Slow fast food. Whoops, we still got that fairly chonky nubbin. It's not going to help anything being there. The tank is about one quarter or one fifth the speed of the dog. <laughs> yeah, it's a slow boy. How fast does a the dog whip it go anyway? Surely it's even slower than that. Like they're racing dogs. I don't think the whip it could go even like like a tenth of the speed of the real thing. Or maybe I'm just making things up in my mind. Sometimes I do that. 34 to 40 miles an hour for the dog, 8 for the tank. Well, I guess that makes sense. Then. Didn't think the tank was that fast, or the dog that slow. <clears throat> Glue will help us greatly in gluing these bits together. Whipper was made to advance after a breakthrough, so at its time it was a fast tank. Yeah, that, that makes sense too. <clears throat> it was the fastest tank in the West in its time. Why does the... Nah. Did I not clean this up properly? Is that why it's not sitting flat or am I just stupid? Little column from A, little from column B. isn't looking right. This is going to be messy. Definitely should have test fitted that first. A normal chat on a Herbert stream? 
Let's... I mean, this is a regular chat. We always have a normal chat. Always. Germans were developing a fast tank that had a similar shape to the Whippet. No copy. Didn't have the Whippet at all. That's interesting. I'm unfamiliar with that tank. Did they actually build it? Because I'd like to see it. Was it also the German word for Whippet when they named it? Yeah, that looks better on the outside than the inside, but both sides look reasonable. And dust whip it! Whip it good! Yeah! If you remember correct, correct, correctly, correctly, it was built after the war in Sweden. Actually, I think I know the one you're talking about. It looks a bit more symmetrical and a bit like a shoe. I think I played that in World of Tanks and thought it looked very much like a shoe. Then it could be something completely different. It's the Sweden that made me think of that. Okay, uh, there are hooks for the towing cables. But, I feel like it's a silly idea to attach thin hooks to areas I might like to apply pressure to. Uh. Speedy meatball delivery. Mm. I could do with some meatballs. I wonder if there's anything nearby that does meatballs. Don't have a local Ikea, you see. I'm not really interested in driving almost an hour for meatballs. But I would go down the road. Okay, so the next step is going to be ignoring the little hooks. Can't tell me what to do, instructions. And just stick these on. I have forgotten to get my phone ready. That was my computer, if you heard those sounds. Is my lens clean? Not especially. Clean enough now. <laughs> Sweden bought 10 from Germany in 1921 and upgraded them later. By adding a carrying rack for flat pack furniture, as Willie Moakley says. That couldn't be couldn't be a lie, that has to be the truth. Focus is good, I understand. I don't know how well my overhead is focused, but probably should have reconfigured it so it would fit a bigger model in the frame.
think that'll do. <clears throat> no lies on the internet, I heard them say. You wouldn't. You couldn't. It's all recording and good. Let us paint the glue on. Probably plenty. And then find the hole. Just to make the glue god happy. A bit of extra glue. Would not do to get smited by the glue god. It's not how I want to start my week. Hell yeah. Very whip it. Much more whip it than it was before. Look at that. Please insert whip it sounds here. <clears throat> As Cleopatra once said. <laughs> That's exactly what she said. <laughs> and after she screamed, she said, no one ever lies on the internet. Not a whippet, but close enough. I mean, yeah, it tries. It's doing its best. And really, that's all anybody can ask. I think this is what I want next. B16. That very nearly broke, but it didn't. Put you over there. Those machine guns are very easy to break off. You might be surprised to learn. Still looks a bit nubbinous. <sighs> that looks better. The 
whip was not very popular with the troops because if on failed using the tank, he got whipped. Hmm, I can understand, but it's in the name, surely. <clears throat> Maybe they thought they were like, oh, it must be named after the dog. Not the whipping that you get for failing. We don't tell them about the whipping. Got to assume that's the hole for this, because otherwise it doesn't fit. <clears throat> One moment, I will reply to a message I have received. <clears throat> Balls. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Let's get this rear thing glued on. I suspect <clears throat> on the next page will be instructions for the tracks. Damn it, part. Why won't you just go right where you belong? Like that. Was that so difficult? Is instructions for tracks. It's not much of an instruction. Just, hey, they go together. You need 68 links on each side. One more and it would have been nice. There's also a bunch of other crap to put on. <clears throat> so, possibly... Possibly, I might delay adding the tracks. There's just a few whatever these are to put on and some tools. So I feel like it's not such a big deal to leave the tracks for last. <clears throat> that way... That way I can uh, do one on stream, potentially, and do the rest later. This tank is very complicated, definitely not designed by the Piss Armor Factory. Uh. Piss Armor Factory never designed a Whippet, I don't think. <clears throat> Tools. The cool thing is, <clears throat> now that I've got a 3D printer, 
I can, well, I probably can't make, but I can find stowage and make as much of it as I want. Famous Bullet Shitter. What a good name for a tank. I mean, like, people call their tanks Tigers and Centurions and all these names, but Bullet Shitter, that makes you stop and think. Maybe I shouldn't, shouldn't mess with that. A Tiger is like, yeah, it's like, a, it could bite you, could be dangerous. It's not going to shit bullets at you. You can also 3D print figures in parts and never build them. Could. <clears throat> in end scale, though, I want to build them as single pieces and then paint them. For my next test, I have a Dalek and a, uh, a Darth Vader, as well as a few... Uh, Businessmen, I think they were called, that I found that were already in end scale. I don't enjoy when there's nubbins on these very thin bits. Have I said that before? Is this time number 600? Quarterly report! That's what I was thinking. April's Fool's Day for next year. Take out the box of unbuilt crew. Take out a sprue. Cut to a rickroll. <laughs> that would be a good idea, but I'll probably get copyright strike on the rickroll. I guess it makes sense to print 160 scale figures in one piece. Yeah, I'm I'm doing British end scale, so it's 148th, and that's even worse. <clears throat> I I don't want to try and get arms on to a onto a figure that small. I'm just hoping that they print reasonably well. At least as good as the, uh, the figures you can buy. Because, uh, the cost of figures, fucking ridiculous. Copyright strike, just say no. They cannot legally copyright strike you without permission. I don't know about that. But then I haven't tried that. Neither have I actually been copyright struck before.
Uh, it's hard to tell what they're actually pointing at, but I'm assuming that's where that goes. And there's a little spot for this here. No, you just drop it on the floor. That's where it goes. Actually, that's there. I can do this. <clears throat> Just not uh the copyright. Um, I will definitely take that as legal advice. I'm a smart man. Fuck. Actually, I do get not copyright strike, but claimed on YouTube every stream I do, despite the fact that. The music I have is YouTube safe. The problem, I believe, is the artist has the music through many services who all think they own it. That's why there's probably bits missing from the, uh, Previous live streams. Because you can just say, oh, I want to mute that section of audio. And I do. It would be nice if they showed an after picture of this crank mounting. Ah, piss. Exactly. Piss is exactly right. <clears throat> ah, that's where it goes good enough had to refer to the painting guide Seems like it hangs over a bit too long that way. Maybe I've got it on wrong. Looks a bit more reasonable, in my opinion. If that's correct, I wouldn't have a clue. Maybe the painting guide tells me. Eh, not really. Good enough. It wasn't you who did it wrong, it was Fred from the factory. Idiot Fred. Oh, that Fred. What a ding -a -ling. Absolute numpty. I'm sure there's a, uh, a Whippet fanatic who's going to be mad about my position of that crank. I will laugh in their general direction. Ugh. Excuse me. We got these things. It would be nice if they'd say how many there are. Though it's probably safe to assume 
all of them. Hmm. <laughs> Too late, Spitfire. You're a lawyer now. I could just count these. I can count. It looks like there's 18. <laughs> it says attaching string and track spuds. They're potatoes. I don't know what a track spud is. That looks like the only ones we put on. I've already forgotten the number I said. I think it was 18. I mean, we've got more sprues. Got 10 on each sprue. I suppose Fred should be whipped. That Mr. Meng Jr. I don't know what his problem is. He's probably jealous because I'm so gosh darn cool. Yeah, that's it. His problem is that his parents made his legal first name Mr. Idiots. Hi, my name's Mr. Spelt M-R. Mr. Mr. Meng Jr. Okay, if my counting was correct, we only need 18, so I'll leave two on the sprue, and that's going to be perfectly right and good. What could possibly go wrong? Should have cut the nubbins a bit smaller. That's meant to be there because it's a bolt. It's a bolt, not a nubbin. be mister I would hate the world too wait my name is not mister but I hate the world anyway well I mean yeah have you seen the world Why do there have to be so many track spuds? <laughs> I 
I think I'm going to be saying the same thing when I get to the track links. Least angry German. I don't know, we Trekan might be yelling all the time in his head. He just hasn't got caps lock on. No sauerkraut for you. I hope you're talking to William Oakley, not me. I deserve sauerkraut. No sausages for you. <laughs> that is a worst punishment. I see what you did there. <clears throat> Trekan's a bit afraid that I would put sauerkraut on pizza. I don't think I would. That would be a bit weird. Though actually, I would try it. Maybe I could get pizza for lunch. Hmm. I I probably deserve a nice pizza for lunch. By which I mean like not one of the frozen ones. You would sell sauerkraut pizza in your supermarket. I would, and people would buy it, or else. I'm disappointed that, well, so far, there isn't a pineapple pizza. Though, pizzas with pineapple aren't really pineapple pizzas, because that's weird. you got to have something salty to go with the pineapple. Lost a friend today because they ate pizza with kiwi fruit. I haven't tried that, but what's wrong with that? Something salty like fish? Yeah. No, I mean like ham. That's why Hawaiian ham and pineapple is the most common pineapple pizza, I guess. I haven't had a kiwi fruit 
for a long time. Hmm. I, now I wonder what that's like on a pizza. <laughs> like rivet counter tears. <laughs> Those are the saltiest of all. Maybe it's um not a common pizza topping because maybe it's in inhumane to to gather rivet counter tears on an industrial scale. You can only get like little mum and pop shop uh, rivet counter tears, artisanal pizzas. Only two more. Only two more. Make pizza with VB in the base instead of water. Call it pizza. Hmm. That does seem like a very brilliant idea. <laughs> we could call it the Keefy. Okay, and we got a whole stack of these things. I'm going to take a quick break to use the facilities before I stick these on. I'll be back in a moment once I find the break button.
I hath returned. Uh, Willie Moakley has gone to bed. I hope he sleeps very well, assuming he's already gone. Uh, I've got myself a grenade drink. You can see why it's a grenade drink. Now it's going to explode. A flavor, flavor explosion in my mouth. Mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> Track spuds. Uh, hmm. Well, the first lot seemed to go on the back here. I guess that's what the bar that I installed was. It's like a track to mount them to. Oh, that's really easy. Don't think I can take them off, though. And how many do we want? Looks like eight. Hmm. I can count. It's it's eight. For sure. As the youth say. Now it's just trying to make me look bad. Went on easy the first time. Ass ah, shits. Maybe I don't need to film myself putting all of them on. <laughs> Hope you filmed it the first time so you can show this and when all the tracks are on you can say they went on super easy. Well, I mean, that, that might not be the truth. They might go on really difficult. Come on. <laughs> the first one was so easy. It's because I have gigantic fat turbo fingers. I don't know why they're turbo fingers, but they are. It's also kind of difficult to hold without also pressing on the machine guns. Probably should leave space for that hole there, which I think is maybe the engine starting crank, though why it's on this end, I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know, believe it or not. <laughs> the first one was a trap to make you think it's easy. That 
Mr. Mang again. What an absolute prick. By the way, his friends call him, call Mr. Meng Kifi. Any questions? Hmm. No. <clears throat> it does give answers, though. I had my suspicions all along, I did. Surely that's enough glue to hold those. And now we add another seven along here, apparently. And then there should be two for the other side. Hmm, I think I overcounted. No, I didn't. I miscounted the instruction. It's seven on the model, plus the one with the arrows, for a total of eight. I don't think they'll just hang there by themselves on here. Just completely missed. Extra glue for extra blessings from the glue god. That's what we're getting. Praise the glue god. Or die by the glue god. Ass shits. I'm still amused that these are called track spuds.
interested in film putting these two on so I can just say, Look at that, it's magical, they've just appeared there. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now we've got our spuds on. It's time for tracks, I think. Yeah. It was you who did that. They look like they might just clip together. I really hope that's the case. Keep on track. I see what you did there. Damn it. <laughs> How you doing, Cube Jam? Why am I drinking that when I could be drinking this? I'm discovering a problem. It's kind of hard to see the nubbins on a black piece of plastic on a black background. What on earth is that? The drink or the pieces? This is Thunderberg Diet Sarsaparilla. Is delicious. Never known anyone to drink it. It's delicious. Only fools don't drink it. I usually don't drink it because it costs too much. So I only buy it when it's on special. This is going to take an age to get all of these tracks ready. I don't think this is worth sitting and doing on stream with 68 links per side. Maybe I won't. As I don't drink the glue. I wouldn't drink the glue after the first five or six times. So, do you just clip together? Please just clip together. Please? <laughs> yes, more or less they do. I appreciate that. That should make it easier to close the loop when you get when you put them on the tank should now let's try and video them but 
catch the light just so. And this is where in the video I'll be like, not even 69. Why couldn't they make it 69? Because I think I'm funny. And I am. Uh, four links is enough. This is the sort of thing, in my opinion, that should be done while sitting and relaxing and watching something. That's how you avoid the angry from the tedium. <laughs> Hundred and forty pins for the tracks, just the pins alone. Hmm. <laughs> I know that feel. The uh Canadian Ram tank, I think it was border, had multiple pieces per link. It it wasn't that bad because I did it over the space of several weeks, but not not really the most fun thing to be doing. I think uh I should attach the little hooks on the sides of the thing because knowing how easily these go together it's just going to be a matter of just plopping the tracks on I should be able to do it without destroying the little hooks not in a rush to do it again fortunately not all tanks have that kind of thing Uh, we've got these hooks. There is also a towing cable, which I'm not really, not really thrilled at. It's all like parting, fraying, I guess is the word. But it is a sort of metal. So these are going to be able to be bent into shape and not like all floppy like string would be. The trouble is the way they tied them up they're all sort of coming apart. Trying to straighten them out. Or it, rather. Maybe. We just twist it. It'll work. I can't tell which way I should be twisting it. But it says this needs to be 190 mils long. Can I cut it with my knife? Find out now. Sure can, but it involved dropping one bit on the floor. Piss.
also ran over that sprue I put on the floor earlier. Why would I do that? I wouldn't. Somebody else did it. You just admitted to it, Herbert. tiny bit more than they want and we've got a li little bit left over hooray that sounds like a lot more work than just holding it in my fingers and twisting it really I just need to make sure I'm actually twisting it the right way I don't want to twist it too much. I'd say that's pretty decent. It does a good job of looking like a cable because probably because it's metal and has that sort of rigidity that a cable would have with these slight not kinks but bends much better than string still probably going to be kind of annoying to get the ends on but better than string I am thinking of leaving the cable off one side of the tank. Just because, well, to save myself potential annoyance. And it looks like it's used if it's missing certain things, I guess. Excuse me. So I'll just do one set at the moment. Is that gonna look which cable is better take that one I am um Impressed. Quite often these sort of things, the cable they supply is either too thick or too thin. Usually too thick. This seems just right. Hopefully having said that, it won't make a liar out of me. It'd be difficult to put together.
Why is the music so tense? All I'm doing is twisting cable and then gluing it. Okay, I think that's ready. Let's, uh, probably gonna need to use super glue, which is somewhere. Uh huh. Behind the things. In Mr. Meng's home country, twisting the cables is for professionals only. Well, gosh darn it, I'm a professional. That ought to be fine in focus. Piss. You aren't meant to stick to my finger, you stupid shit. I hate super glue. It's not too bad. If you look at it from the wrong side, it doesn't look great, but good enough. And to make sure that uh, we can show you the good side on both ends is the trick without twisting the cable too much. Freaking dog shit. Eh, that's good as well. I don't feel like doing the other one, so I won't. I'm afraid Superglue don't care if you hate it because everybody hates it. It's used to being hated. I guess that's good for it. 
really? If you're going to be hated, you might as well get used to it. And now, the little hooks for the cable, which is going to take a long time because of how small they are. Darn it. I really wish they would make bit of bigger bottles of this stuff. They make other stuff in bigger bottles. But it's stuff that I don't want. Okay, how many hooks do I actually need? I don't know because they're on, on a different page because I skipped them to avoid breaking them. Looks like 10. And it looks like you get 12 on the sprue. Probably because they're easy to break. Or I might have read the instruction wrong. No, I wouldn't do that. What a silly notion. Difficult to get the clipper in to remove the entire knob and so I don't want to clean these up. Will Herbert break the hooks? Stay tuned to find out. So far, I have not. But there are definitely some that need clean up. One nearly went flying. Nearly fed the carpet monster. I think they all need just a little bit of a slice. Just a little bit. So if I don't cut the nubbin off the back, they won't sit properly. And <laughs> they'll look bad.
What I need is really tiny fingers. Are you trying to scare the parts with the high-pitched voice? Trying. Doesn't seem to have worked. They are so tiny. Ah. Why? Why couldn't they big have... Big have... Why couldn't they have big, hefty, chonky hooks? I guess at least they're not photo etch. Seven hours later. You know why it has tiny hooks. In 1917, the chief designer said to his man, Make tiny hooks so in 107 years, some crumpy bearded man down in Australia will be annoyed. And so they laughed and laughed. Fucking dickheads they are. <laughs> That's probably true. now to try and get them on without losing them.
Let's add them to this side, why not? Have to do the other side eventually, but I think that's for future Herbert to worry about. Can I lean you on your side? No, you will break the machine gun. Let's try to do it this way. Something, some Barnaby and you could not, could have done. Yeah, maybe, but we wouldn't. Hopefully, that's strong enough to actually hold the cable. Any plans to paint some stuff like sensible railway cars? Hmm. I do have a brake van and I think two little vans to paint. Like the, uh, similar to the... <laughs> Excuse me. To the piss tanker I did. I'm not sure how I'm going to paint them though. I was thinking of doing them pink or purple. And of course now I could 3D print railway wagons. Feck! Ass shits. Part of the challenge is just getting them on the tweezers. I'm not going to waste all my memory by videoing all 6,000 hours this is going to take. Can I stick this on with my bare fingers? I have my doubts. Can't even hold it with a part exposed to stick on. That actually wasn't too difficult.
quite sure these hooks will never break. I uh, appreciate your optimism and or sarcasm, depending on which it actually is. That's probably why they included spares. Just on the off chance that these very strong boys would break. One positive with them, though, is that a lot of the plastic does contact the hull. So, hopefully that's strong enough to at least have the cable sitting on it. It's a bit of both. Well, that's suitable. The rare sarcasm to be found around here. Stop falling off my finger, you shit. You think you're special? You think you don't have to go onto the model? Last one for this side. gotta be lined up otherwise I'll get the wrath of the rivet counters on me I think that should have a fair 
bit of time to bond before trying to put anything on there. think that's basically all there is to the model aside from putting these bits on that is going to exert some pressure I think the way to do it would be to glue all of the top bits on or bottom, if you prefer. Then add the bend and glue the bottom ones on. Now that's for another day, I think. I am um, getting hungry. I am becoming ravenous. I am like a raven. Is, is that what ravenous means? I have no idea. I'm too stupid to know things. Uh, that's pretty good. I really enjoyed this kit. I haven't finished it yet. Eating stops hunger. Yeah, I'm going to see if there's a good pizza place open for lunch. They often aren't. Um, uh, let's see about clicking buttons on the Twitch machine. Uh, 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 maybe I won't do a raid. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for video games. I don't know what I'm going to play. Probably shopping Supermarket Simulator. I haven't played that for a couple of days. Uh... I can't remember if it's a new video week or not. I think that's next week. It is Monday, though. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow night for video games. Then on Wednesday, we'll continue working on the Burger Panther. Looking forward to meeting the Demo Twins. They could become triplets soon. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo!